There is no one like you, ha. Jesus. There is no one like you in all the earth. There is no one like you, Jesus. There is no one like you. In all the earth, you do mighty things, you do glorious things, you're a mighty God, also miss your name. You do mighty things, you do glorious things, you're a mighty God, also miss your name, Jesus. You do mighty things, you do glorious things, you are a mighty God. Also, mission. Our God is awesome. He is worthy to be praised. He's the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords, the unchangeable changer, the promise keeper. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the one who never changed, the one who never fell, the one who never disappoint. When he say yes, he's yes, he's yes. When he say no, his no is no. Child of God, there is no one like our father. I want to remind us today that there is no one like our Father. And there is no situation, no trials of life can change whom our Heavenly Father is. There is nothing that He cannot do. In the time of adversity, how do we overcome? In the time that we are facing trouble, trial, problems, how do we overcome? There are things in our life that when we remember, we are thinking too much about them. We pay so much attention for those problems, those trials. You know, I would like to remind us that God is able to do all things. He is able to deliver us from any form of trouble, any form of problem in our life. And we advise us to always pay more attention in the word of God than paying more attention in that trial that we are facing, in that problem that we are facing. If we pay more attention in the word of God and we pay more attention in his promises concerning our life, we will not have any space for thinking, for worrying. We can do that. Hallelujah. I want to remind us that in the time of adversity, it is the time for us to, to draw more closer to God. It is time for us to be able to think and learn through those trials because adversities helps us it prepares us for future it prepares us to help another 
people, all that, another generation that will come after us. If there is no problem, there will be no testimony. If there is no test, there will be no testimony. So when you are facing adversity and it is not, it's not, it's not, uh, um, it's not the time for you to think. It is the time for you to begin to bring out your, your notebook, your pen and begin to jot things down and begin to speak the word of God concerning that issue that you are facing at that moment. It is not the time for you to give up. It is time for you to rise and praise your heavenly father and know that you are being prepared. If you are not this, what will you speak? What will you preach? Maybe that trial that you're facing right now, there is someone in next one year, in few months that you'll be speaking, you know, sharing your testimony with. And that testimony will bring them life, bring them back to life. We give them hope that God is God. Let us read the word of God and remind ourselves what the word of God says. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Numbers 27 verse 19 says, God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of God, son of man that he should repent. Had he said, and shall he not do it? Or had he spoken, and shall he not make it good? When God say yes, his yes is yes. When he say no, his no is no. Hallelujah. The word of God goes ahead and say in Isaiah 55 verse 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. But it shall accomplish that which I have promise and he shall prosper in the things where to I send it hallelujah thank you Jesus there is nothing our God cannot do there is no situation that he cannot do this is the word of God and this word of God carries power he says, is there anything that, you know, his word will never come out void. That means we need to read the word of God at this coming out from our mouth. God is putting it into, uh, you know, man, it is, it will be manifesting in our life. Hallelujah. Child of God, rise up, be happy again. And continue to rejoice in the Lord. Okay? God bless you. To write on your way. Again, I still remain your girl, if you success, the daughter of Zion. Please, if you are coming across my video for the very first time, do well to share, to encourage one or two people. And also follow me on my uh, social media handles on my Facebook, if it's success, YouTube, if it's success, uh, Instagram, if it's success, one, two, three. Okay. God bless you till I come your way again. Bye.